Hey you guys, I was just uh, making some chicken soup and I noticed that my eggs expire today and so we all know they're still good. I did the floating test as well to double check and uh, so I'm going to show you how I do my perfect hard cooked eggs. Let's see if we get a quan in here. A quan, come here. Come on, pretty girl. There we go. Okay, let's go to the, the stove. Look up. Say hi. What? Quanny. Okay. Okay, so I already had this boiling, but what I do is I put a little bit of water in. And I let it come to a boil. And then I gently place my eggs in the water. And I'll just let it come up to a boil. I may have to pause the camera as I put the eggs in. Hold on. Okay, I placed them in. I put a lid on, and I'm going to turn it down to medium heat. And I'm going to let it simmer for 9 to 10 minutes. I like 9 and a half. Sorry, that drop is from the soup. <laughs> so let's set the timer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll go one and a half. No, oh, that's okay. Okay. And I'll be back. Is this some intermission time, Quan, while we're waiting? Are you pretty girl? Say hi to everybody. No, don't walk up to the camera. Quanny. You know what, guys? While we're waiting, I'm just going to show you something. Um, two videos in one, I guess. Um, I made this grocery list from stuff at the dollar store. All I did was buy a frame. Um, I seen this paper I really liked, so I bought it. And then this strip here, I really liked as well. And it matched the flowers. So I just cut... A piece of strip of that kind of print off and put it on top and I framed it now with this you could use the dry uh, marker and it wipes off so like if you have a picture or a pattern that you really like there we go or a pattern you really like um, or team, you know, you could make this at practically no cost and the magnets were glued on and uh, it's never fallen off my freezer and I'm in my freezer all the time. Um, I'm an ice cube fanatic so I crush ice like four or five times a day so I'm in and out and I made this around eight years ago. I want to make another one, but to fit the whole top of the fridge. But that's another project for another day. But that's how simple it is. So grab yourself a frame, put what you like in it, and then add some magnets, and then there you have your own dry board. Easy, simple. You can put it in your grow room. You can put one in your kitchen. You can put one anywhere. How much time do we have left? Um... See, I'm afraid to pause this in case you're only allowed to have it pause for a certain amount of time. And then the camera might turn off on the phone. So that's why I thought I would uh, show and tell. Show and tell. I don't have Dozer up on my fridge yet or Quan. With this here, this is a sticker. And what I did with this is I stuck it on the back of magnets and cut it and uh, made a magnet. So, yeah, my next girl, everybody, it's going to be a whole lineup of new kids. Um, I hope you're not mad at me, but I've been sick for a while now. I haven't been able to get in my tent, but I'm trying. 
I'm trying. And hopefully this week, if I can get around to it, if I feel better, um, I'm going to plant some tomato seeds and some pepper seeds. So, I hope I feel better. But I'm rambling on, rambling on. There is three minutes left, so... Let's pause. Okay, while we're waiting too, here's a new addition to the kitchen. This is my Black & Decker confectional oven with air fryer. Um, I've cooked a few things in it. So far, my favorite is pizza. It does it way better than the oven. Um, I lined my tray at the bottom. There is a drip tray that comes out at the bottom. And it, there's also another drip tray, if you want, that hooks on underneath that middle rack. This was extra. And this is the deep frying basket. I'm not the deep frying, sorry, air frying basket. The top gets really hot, so when I use it, I, oops, I put my cutting board on it so I don't burn myself. So, I'm still learning how to use it, and I'm really enjoying it. It's got, hi Quan, it's got a timer on it. She's rubbing on me. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, that's for the toast. There's the timer, and then here's your functions. Quan's knocking me over. Sorry, you guys. Come on, steady. Anyway, you'll see broil, bake. And air fry. So we're still steaming. We don't have much longer to go. Uh, see my retro kettle? I love this thing. It's got uh, double metal inside, so I could also use it for cold. Okay. Well, I should be able to push pause, and there shouldn't be any interruptions. So I'm going to come back. And when I come back, it'll be when I'm taking the eggs out. So, that'll be big. Well, I hit the button putting the phone down, so there's going to be two parts of the video I'm going to be putting together. So, I'm just running some cold water. The timer went off as the camera hit it. Of course. I don't have much luck with uh, filming, but... This ain't a professional channel. <laughs> no, it's a small little channel about ginger. Oh, excuse me, ginger snaps. Everyone knows my real name anyway, don't matter. So, what I'm going to do... Sorry, I didn't realize that was loud. Probably is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crack one open for you and cut it in half and show you what nine and a half steamed eggs look like and they're I find them so much easier than boiling I don't know why um, I can never get the timing right but this is simpler for me sometimes I go 10 minutes sometimes I'll go 8 so depending on you know how well done you like your egg so I'll be back okay let's see if I can do this one handed Let's see how this turned out. Oh, I should have took this thing out of the knife protector. There we go. Okay, let's see how the egg turned out. It's still warm. Oh, just the way I like them. I love my hard boiled eggs like this. I love the texture. But if I was to make sandwiches, I would definitely do it for 10 minutes. Um, that 30 seconds makes a big difference. You can even go maybe 10 minutes and 20 seconds. But uh, I've done them up to 11 minutes and they're fine. So this is how Ginger Snaps does her boiled eggs. Sorry, they're not boiled, they're steamed. It's, it's hard to get used to saying steamed eggs because it's just out of the norm for me anyway until I started doing it. So, easy, simple, put a little bit of water, bring to a boil, place the eggs in gently. You don't want any cracks.
put the lid on, turn it down to medium, set your timer, and then you know what to do after there. So much love, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope you guys try this way. And if you like it or don't like it, let me know in the comments below. And please subscribe and like to my channel. Much love and have a great day. Bye.